ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of MSP Dispatch Quick Takes. We're here at the CompTIA Community Councils Forum live in Chicago that will be opening up in a few hours here. We're at the Renaissance Hotel, and I'm joined today by Mr. Wayne Self. How are you doing, Wayne? I'm good, sir. Thank you for having me. Good. So I'm going to do the thing where I don't have to remember your title. I'll just ask you to give me your title. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, the, so the funny thing is I have two titles, right? Oh. My primary title for CompTIA is Vice President Cybersecurity Programs. Okay. And my other title that I got saddled with, no offense, MJ, <laughs> is really the executive director of the CompTIA Information Sharing and Analysis Organization, right? So that I is kind that of inherited that. Is what ISAO stands for? Because yes. I'll be honest, I've called it ISAO from the dawn of time. Yep. And I could not have told you what that acronym stood for. So that's good. That's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, right? Everybody, no one realizes that it actually means something. Yeah. So, yes. It means you give us all the threat intelligence and you've added the, the, you know, you have the TLP and the TLB modified and now it's actionable or readable. It's actually useful information as opposed to just this like cavalcade of information. It's like, what am I going to do? Oh my God, the world's ending. Right. So I appreciate that. Yeah. As somebody that consumes the data, I appreciate right. that. And we're trying to get better at bringing in additional feeds. Um, I, I, I've worked out a little thing where we're actually going to be receiving and sharing some of our TLP white now clear um, with multi-state ISAC. Wow. Right. So, you know, we're, we're developing more of that kind of relationship because, I mean, let's be honest, right, Ray, the industry, this industry itself supports many of the other vertical sets that are that critical infrastructure yeah. and we need, they not only need to understand what's going on from our industry standpoint, but we need to understand what's going on and the stuff they're seeing Absolutely. without any of that actionable item. We're still in the dark. Absolutely. You know? It's all one sided otherwise. Oh, for sure. And if, if something starts in water and then MSPs are starting to notice other things hit like with food and agriculture, I mean, we need to be able to help the other critical infrastructure verticals know that that this is morphing and be able to pass that information along to CISA quickly, right? I mean, we're kind of a linchpin in this whole Absolutely, process. Yeah. So, so I saw I, I saw a stat somewhere. There was some IT professionals uh, comprise something like five percent of the global population, but affect something like eighty percent of the world's commerce because of our impact on technology, because of our impact on small business, medium enterprise. Uh, which is why this information sharing is so vital, right? Because right. We, we have our hands in everything. Uh, and I want to give a, a quick shout out because with CompTIA, if you're an MSP member in CompTIA, you automatically get access to the ISAL. Correct. Correct. And yep. that, that is at no cost. It's included in your membership. It's included that. in the membership. $450 a year. And it's for the entity, right? So the business is the member and all of the folks that work for that business roll up under that membership at no additional cost. And that, that is such a huge thing. Oh, most people don't get it. <laughs> they don't get it because you know, you'll get you'll get business owners like myself that will come in and we'll join the orgs and we'll participate. But the information that we know is I want to say semi-useless because the people that are actually doing the work, they right. need to be aware. They need to know what's going on. So letting them also get access to it is a huge thing. Uh, so if you're an MSP and you haven't joined CompTIA, like Wayne said, it's four hundred fifty dollars. There's no excuse not to join. I mean, I spend more than that on coffee. <laughs> <You know? laughs> well, and and just to pile onto that for just a sec, you know, the what this is for everybody inside your organization. We have individuals today, or you have individuals inside your org, may not be in IT today, but they may be wanting to sh shift careers and actually do something. Yeah. Right. the The world of CompTIA is open to them. And, and so you can actually help them in a career path and, and, you know, get somebody else on your help desk or get another qualified tech or, you know, give, give back to the community. We have this whole apprenticeship program. Absolutely. Um, and so there's, there's an enormous amount of potential to belong to CompTIA and, 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 and do things in the tech industry uh, to actually help, help folks succeed. So let's talk about CCF. CCF is a little different animal. This is not a vendor conference. There's no phone calls afterward telling you, oh, I saw you pass by our booth. <laughs> you must be interested in our software. Uh, 
you know, this, these are for the volunteers that are working uh, every day, both within CompTIA and outside organizations volunteering with CompTIA, working to produce the content, make make the organization as a whole do better for the world as a whole. Right. Um, there's going to be a ton of announcements today uh, or this week. Um, I will cover one just because we've talked about it before. You came on dispatch. You talked about the cybersecurity trust mark. Uh, and Phil, point back to that episode wherever it's at. I love when Phil does that. Um, but it's officially launching. It's finally time, right? Right. Yes. No, it is. It's finally It's finally time. So we're, we're finally to the point where, and I'm not opposed to say this, right? We have over 400 people on the wait list uh, that includes the beta users and, and the the pilot users. So we're 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 launching with a solid set of industry individuals that want to take this, be successful, grow a security program, at least start growing a security program inside of the organization and raise their awareness and understanding. That's really what the Trustmark is all about, is not not only putting in that foundational cyber hygiene, which let's just be honest, a, a lot of folks have neglected. There's some work to be done, absolutely. Right, yeah. right, and 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 this, this actually, the beauty of it coming from CompTIA is vendor neutral, not-for-profit, we're not making any money off of this. As a matter of fact, we're probably giving more than we're receiving. <laughs> Um, which is pretty standard for which Comptia. is pretty pretty standard for come to you, uh, I might add. But we're we're helping you with the guides, the all the content that you need in order to be successful. Heck, if you even need a mentor to help you implement a program inside of your organization, we can get that for you at no cost. And that, so that's it's a huge deal. I mean, it, it is. And, and we were talking about it pre-recording, but one of the things I love about it is that, and we just recorded with Chris Johnson also, uh, where. It's so hard to get something done. It's so hard to get that that start, that foot in the door. Of, right. Let's start documenting. Let's start applying policies. Let's start adding governance. And you know, and it seems overwhelming if you haven't taken the first step. And then you look at you know the NIST standards, 800-171. You look at CSF. You look at all these guidelines where these frameworks where it's so complicated to a layperson. Or I don't want to say layperson because the MSP is not a layperson. Right. But maybe they they haven't put their toe in the security pool yet. Correct. This lets you get a start. It lets you get good. It, it lets you get secured to a good state, where if you want to go down the path of one of the other frameworks, eventually you haven't wasted time. No, you're it, building upon it. Exactly, exactly. And that was the whole mindset that we went into this program with was to give folks. I liken it to an on ramp on a freeway, right? And we've all been there. We we're either we some of us come up to speed very quickly and merge into traffic without any challenges others take their time coming up onto the freeway and start backing up traffic let's just be honest um and then i see you've driven in florida okay. uh, yeah yeah exactly right um and then you have the other folks that are like gung-ho jump in to to traffic hell be damned on who's in that lane you're merging yeah. with right yeah and we don't want to we don't want to be the last two we want to be the first one where we're coming up to speed and politely merging into traffic and doing the things that we need to to get up to feed at our pace but without slowing yeah. or knocking folks off the road right because you don't want to go through this whole thing go left and then realize wait no this other framework is really what applies to me and have lost all those efforts it, exactly. that doesn't happen here right that that's true it doesn't happen because we've the membership, believe it or not, um, that put the controls together has actually done a great job of specifically cherry picking out of other frameworks the controls that MSPs need in order to be successful from that ground level perspective. I mean, in, in addition to that, I personally um, have taken on the responsibility of putting together a five hour course, five wow. one hour courses on risk management and why it's so important understanding it operationalizing it in your environment helping your clients with it yeah. because it's that one in particular helping your clients it's going to shift your perspective and and that's the whole idea behind the trust mark we need to start shifting away from a technology focus and doing more of that risk based focus because that's where the conversation comes together between the MSP and your client stack. 
Absolutely. And so, it, anyway, we're so much looking forward it's, to this it's launch. A big, it's a huge deal. It and is a huge deal. I, I see the excitement. I see the passion. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm right there with you. Um, and the final thing I want to cover is something I'm, I'm, I cannot express how excited I am about this. Let's talk about the ERT. Yes, the emergency response team. Um, it's kind of funny how we how we kind of labeled it CompTIA Emergency Response Team. So it still has the CERT acronym. Um, <laughs> and but, I imagine there's going to be tactical outfits, and SWAT gear, right? Like if, if there's no helmets with little flashlights on. Them, well, there on. you go. I mean, we're going to have to come up with something unique and 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 wonderful. But but really, this was another member-led effort that is falling underneath the Cybersecurity Programs Team here at CompTIA. It is all volunteer-led. It is member-led. We have, uh, the, the volunteer list has exploded um, to be able, because folks want to be able to help give back in, in the time, not only of a potential security incident right. or compromise, but as you and I were talking prior to going live, there's the whole business continuity aspect, natural disaster, disaster recovery. This, that's why we kind of changed the name of the team a little bit too. Yeah. Our, our working copy was was really around incident response or well, volunteer response about, corps. Right? Like you, right? We, we start to a hammer, everything's a nail, and you spend enough time with the ISI, you spend yep. enough time in the security world, and you think, okay, well, it's easy to think, when you think emergency or event, you're thinking incident. You're yep. thinking the B word, right? We're not gonna say breach. Because <laughs> <laughs> like, it's not always, to. it's not always that. But that's why we stuff. have to get away with it. Right, yeah. yeah. Um, Yes, for sure. And it's an, it's another exciting, very exciting program for folks to get involved, get engaged, don't have to be a member in order to uh, reach out for help. Um, and and, and that, that form of help is really what, in essence, what do you need in order to come out on the other side, right? Because um, we, we, you know, let's be honest, there's a lot of folks have had health challenges with oh, yeah. almost on the brink of losing their business and their livelihood. And that's a huge stressor for folks. Yeah, and it is. Um, anyway, we, we, wanna, we wanna, again, as a community, because that's one of the big themes here at CompTIA is we are community. Um, it's really all about the community for us. Absolutely. So, and these are just a few of the big announcements here at CCF. You got ERT, you got the Trustmark finally going live, or the Cybersecurity Trustmark going live, because there's other Trustmarks. Um, you, you, these are, you talk about the ice out, more information sharing, you know, the automatic pushing. This, these are just a few of the things that are coming out. I think MJ said there were 10 announcements, and I'm sure there's more he didn't even think of. <laughs> Not to mention the custom Lego, because we can't let that go. Right. Um, but if they want to know, if anybody wants to know more about joining the ISAO, joining CompTIA in general, uh, about emergency response team, getting more information, or the Trust Park, how, how do they get that information? Yeah, uh, it's real easy, right? Uh, so the easiest thing to do is send an email to membership at comptia.org. That's gonna generate a ticket inside the, our Zendesk. Um, make sure you give the subject what it is you want more information about, right? Yeah. Because if you anything, say more information, it's CompTIA. No. <laughs> right, and, and, and that's gonna get stopped. At, not that the membership team is not wonderful. They are, they're yeah. amazing. But if you're looking for something specific around cybersecurity programs, information around that, call it out in the subject, call out uh, cybersecurity programs or the cybersecurity trust mark or the ERT or whatever the case may be, and it'll get routed to my team, we can we can help. If it's membership completely related, just put, I need more uh, information on membership. Awesome. Well, Wayne, thank you so much, man. I appreciate Thanks, it. Thanks, Ray. I appreciate it. I look it. forward to hearing you on stage, man. Oh, yeah, it'll be fun. <laughs> Thanks. This has been a broadcast of the MSP Media Network.